When dispensing the equinus brace, it is important to educate the patient on how to properly don and doff the device. This will result in better compliance, a better stretch, and a better results. We recommend showing the patient how to use the brace by having them mirror each step. First, release the ankle and leg straps. Be sure to reattach the Velcro to the straps. Next, loosen the foot straps, but keep them threaded. On the back of the brace, there's a switch. Lift this switch up to unlock the extension post. Once unlocked, lift the post all the way up and relock the lock by pushing the switch back down. You will want to start the process sitting in a chair with feet on the floor and knees bent at a 90 degree angle. Insert your foot into the pre-threaded straps while keeping the extension post outside your leg. Make sure your heel is pushed all the way down, then fasten the ankle strap. You will want this strap to be snug. Next, insert the toe wedge under your big toe, then fasten the foot straps. If you have braces for both legs, repeat the previous steps on the other leg before proceeding. The extension post should be set so there is one strap above the knee and one strap below the knee. If you need to adjust the post height, Unlock the switch, adjust, and lock back into place. We recommend marking the proper height for each patient on the post. This way they know where to set the post when using the brace at home. Once the extension post is properly adjusted, swing the post behind your leg and fasten the leg straps. One strap above the knee and one strap below. Now, kick your leg up on another chair or an ottoman, start your time and watch your favorite show or read a good book. To get out of the brace, simply release the leg straps and push the post back to the outside of your leg. This way you can bend your knees to easily access the ankle and foot straps. The length of the straps can all be adjusted based on your patient's needs. We also recommend reducing the proximal foot strap by feeding it into the lower slots. This will help secure the patient's foot, which provides a better stretch. For smaller patients, you may not need the distal foot strap. It may also be necessary to trim the leg padding for a patient with shorter legs. To do so, trim the padding so it does not interfere with the ankle strap. The standard adult size fits from a US women's size six up to a US men's size 13. If the patient has a smaller shoe size than a women's size 6, we recommend our pediatric brace. This brace is very similar to the adult size, however it also features a plantar flexion setting on the hinges to accommodate for more extreme contractures. Depending on the age of the patient, mom or dad might need to help. The straps on the pediatric brace can also be modified to fit smaller patients. Some key points to remember. One, the brace is not ambulatory. Do not walk in it. Number two, the brace is to be used for one hour per day. We recommend sitting upright with the leg propped up on an ottoman or chair. Number three, sometimes patients experience numbness or tingling when using the brace. This is because their tibial nerve is being stretched. We recommend taking a short break when this happens. Most patients need 90 days of stretching, 30 days at each setting, Many patients, including diabetics and athletes, are at a higher risk for recontracture. It is important to keep these patients on maintenance therapy. After completing the 90-day treatment, we recommend continuing to use the brace two to three days per week and adjusting as needed. To adjust dorsiflexion, unscrew each side using the Allen wrench that comes with the brace. Once the screws are released, place the brace on a flat surface or your knee. Pull out on each side simultaneously to separate the two components. When separating these components, we recommend inserting your thumbs near the foot strap. If your thumbs are too close to the ankle component, you will not be able to release the hinge. Once both sides are separated, reposition the hinge, snap the hinges back into place, and insert the screws.